How do you see the, the, it kind of all panning out? I mean, is there a rotation into bonds? Well, I think there's um, there's a couple of things here. There is a rotation into bonds. I think there's also we're we're facing, I think, bigger questions about uh, uh, whether markets are going to stay very closely correlated or whether the correlations that we're seeing between markets are breaking down. I mean, I think one of the challenges that we face between Donald Trump's trade policy, which is uh, the clear idea is pulling growth towards the U.S. from the rest of the world, uh, and Donald Trump's fiscal policy, which is uh, I'm going to run a fiscal deficit and that needs to be financed, right. uh, and it's probably the rest of the world who's going to have to finance it. I think these are issues that uh, markets more broadly are grappling with too. So Asian stocks have been very poor this year. Uh, one of the surprises has been actually that uh, credit markets uh, have not reacted probably as much as they should have. So I think when we look at fixed income, uh, when we have weak growth and concerns about growth, uh, maybe that's going to be good, say, for the longer end of, uh, of rate curves. But on the other hand, I think uh, credit spreads need to do quite a bit of work in terms of, of, of already reflecting the weakness that we've seen in equities.